ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Welcome to a new episode of Black, White, and Red All Over. Really, right. that was really loud. I apologize. <laughs> Sorry, Shelby. Sorry, Shelby. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm Victor Dandridge. I'm Ryan Seymour. I'm coming off of a super high from this weekend. Not gonna lie. Wizard World Columbus was pretty bad. It was fun. It, it was, was fun. Good man. times. Did you did you did you see the panel? I've seen the panel. Have you seen it? Oh, the one with the black, white, and red all yes. over. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Where we kicked all. Those guys look pretty smart. We did. Yeah. It looked like we knew stuff. Yeah. All the stuff. We knew oh. it. And with amazing. Yeah. That was my new lisp. I'm working on it. I'm trying to see how well it works. <laughs> For no it's good reason. fantastic. You look at the tip of my soda. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, so we read books from the show, which was awesome. Yeah. But I had some people ask me if that was going to be the show for this week, and I'm like, no, we're yeah. still going to come through yeah. with the goodness. Yeah, we're giving you two Bam. for the price of fun. Oh, oh. oh that's marketing. Mm. The Comic Town way, ladies. I'm actually <laughs> impressed by that. I, it was an accident. That, <laughs> coined it. Yep, that's what that is. Hashtag Gwinning. Um, <laughs> what? It's happening. What? It's happening. I told you I was using it. Yeah. I told you I was using it. All right. So we've got some books this week. Yes. We did have some help. Yes. We had some help. Um, uh, Overlord of Evil, he threw out some, yep. which was cool. Uh, did Hank throw out any? Uh, he didn't throw out Bizarro. but no, But he thank did, you. did throw out a couple others. He did? Okay. Well, that's cool. That's cool. Um, there weren't a whole lot. It was a light week. It's it was. A, a five ship week month, so okay. stuff's really spread out. Got you, got you, got you, got you. Oh, yeah, that, that's, that happens. Yeah. It happens. It's not bad. Um, so what, what did you tackle? Uh, I tackled Fight Club, which you did. Yes, yes, uh, I did. Deadpool Thanos, which you did. I did that too. Where our paths diverged in yes. the woods, I went with Wolf number three. Okay, and I went with um, <laughs> Weird World number, I don't even know what number we're on. Yeah. I don't even know. Number good. Number good. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Number heaven. Um, so, where do you want to go first? Uh, let's leave Fight Club for last because yes. I think it's the one. We got to just, it, we just yeah. got to. We just got to. Let's do Deadpool Thanos. Okay. Number two. Yes. Um, I didn't realize before that Tim Seeley was writing it. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't realize that with it, Yeah. I didn't know. But this one seems like more of a concise story. And not so much Deadpool-y. Yeah. Yeah, because the first one was 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 decent, but it was right. it was like Deadpool one-liners weirdness, and that was the story had to be framed around it, where it was right. the opposite. Exactly. This one. This one. This one felt better. I yeah. enjoyed it. Um, the. The, the line about Toboggan Brothers. That, oh. Which doesn't spoil anything because you have to know have to what know was what said they're first. About. <laughs> but <laughs> although okay. As I told you when I was reading it, I did have a complaint yeah. on that one page that... And this is super nerdy, but, I, is, but I, like, I'm, I'm the I mean, same just, with, with you, where I'm like, no, you. clearly... Right, right. <laughs> Push my glasses up. Um, there's a reference to starving animals yeah. that are predatory in nature, yeah. and I can't understand why that is. Yeah. You know, like, you hold the thing down and you get to chewing. Like, it's, I've seen it, National Geographic videos. Yeah, I've watched it a couple times. You know? Where they're they're already starting to feast on the things. It's like the raptors. They start to eat you before yeah. you're even dead. Yeah. And if you die, cool. If you awesome. don't, cool. Sorry. Yeah. You know, a meal is a meal. Yeah. So I didn't understand that line. Yeah. Tim, you're gonna have to explain it to us. Yeah. I might have to tweet you about that and just ask questions yeah. like. Mm. But otherwise, there were several really laugh out loud yes, moments. Yes, there were. Yes, there were. The acolytes of death or whatever. Those guys were, were fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Just oh, just like the just some of the Deadpool's one liners. They were. Tasty. Yeah. It was it was really <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. This one though, it, it does touch a note of not for children. Oh like, there yeah. There's some serious uh in you in note. It, yeah. Yeah, it's one that it yeah, because it's it's cleverly disguised. It is as dead but, coolness, but it, yeah, well, but you there's know what they're saying. Yeah. It's you know. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Um, I like this one better than I like the first one. Yes, it was lie. much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Much better. Yeah. It definitely found its legs. Yeah. Um, and it's, <laughs> pun aside, it's kind of killing it right now. So, yeah. Mm, good job. Good job. So, okay, so tell me where you went with Wolf. Wolf continues to be good. It, okay. it is flying under the radar. Okay. Uh, and here's the thing. If, if you're a fan of Hellblazer, John Constantine, mm. and... When when he switched from the Vertigo U to the DCU, okay, and you're like, oh well, he isn't. He's gonna be bland now. It, it, yeah, and it, and it is a bit toned down. Of course, from, of course, from that because Vertigo is there are no rules. Right. Wolf kind of he's he's in that middle ground between the two in terms of feel. Okay. Like he does horrible stuff to get things done, 
uh, it, there's a there's more humor in this than in, than in Hellblazer. Okay, but it's it's still dark. There's still magic. Finding out the backstory behind his partner, like what his job was before he was a private investigator. Right. Uh, it involves adult movies. We'll we'll leave it at that. It, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was one. I mean, my eyebrows not tweaked, but it is raised a little. Yeah, and it's just it's hysterical. Like it's this. The Antichrist is this this little kid, and she's like totally cool with the fact she's just not happy that she never knew a real dad. And <laughs> it's 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 brilliant. It's That's dark. Awesome. It's humorous. There's uh, vampires, not like the Twilight style vampires. No sparkles. It, it, no sparkles. No like sparkles. these are like legit killing machines. Okay. Okay. Um, it's it's really it's it's that void that Hellblazer left when it switched. Nice. So it fills nice. that very nicely. Okay. Okay. I get with that. I yeah. get with that. Um, I took on Weird World. Yeah, um, I should have read it. I bet. I mean, yes, you yeah. should have, because uh, it's still like the like this is this is the never ending story for adults. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm calling it. Yeah. Like, it's not that it's you know gratuitous or anything like that, but yeah. it's it's that that wild fantasy, unfiltered, just going, um, but really really cool. This yeah. one we had like man things, and oh. oh, the way that they play, it's like they reminded me so much of the the rock biter, like. Oh, just the yeah. way of it. It was just really cool. Um, but this story, like you, you're following this character, and even at this point, like we have an understanding about him. Yeah. Um, Warlord of Warlords here, um, but at the same time, he's still somewhat of an enigma. Yeah. And he's still trying to, you know, figure this stuff out. And we're just kind of going along with him on this adventure. Yeah. That is really, really cool. Um, the art is still gorgeous. Oh, God, is some of the best yeah. digital paintings I've seen in comics. Um, and Aaron is is killing it, man. He's like, Jason Aaron. Yeah, yeah. And now, like, I can't get the term "Queen of the Man Things" out of my mind. Um, <laughs> you gotta read it. You gotta read it. It's in there. Yeah. It's in there. That's all I'm saying. So yeah, that one, solid. Like, I can't wait for that to be in trade and just read that all yeah, the way through. Just have it. That's gonna be. That's an epic adventure, just waiting to be read. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. So Fight Club. Yeah. It's, it's there. I have determined, I've said it multiple times, mm -hmm. and I believe it to be true. I am not smart enough to understand what's going on in this book anymore. It has hit a level that I have no idea what is happening. Yeah, uh, yeah. for, for me, uh, I'm the Pittsburgh Steelers defense, and this <laughs> is Rob Gronkowski. I, I just, I'm lost. So lost, <laughs> so lost, um, which, Hopefully, for all you comic book fans out there, that reference was totally lost on you. Like, oh yeah. my God, you're such a yeah. jock. What is, you uh. secret muscle head, you? <laughs> this guy. This is nerddom. What yeah. are you doing? Sorry. You Sorry. Just it's like fantasy football's D&D for, well, for jocks. Well, that, that is very true. That is very, very true. <laughs> yes. That's, you'd see them with their little notepads. Oh, and, yeah, how awesome. come we've never figured out how to make like a big giant check scenario for D&D, though? That's the question. Think these things. That's through. marketing. I know, right? Yeah. Jeez. But, okay, so the things that happen here yes. are things that happen, and here they are. Like, that's, yeah. I don't know how to. It, yeah, it, it's, because I think I've, I've pieced together that Durden is behind all the, the conflicts and, yes. and, and wars and civil war. Like, yes. everything. Like, he seems to have his little sticky fingers. Yeah. In everything. Yeah. What I'm not understanding is how not Tyler's son right? fits into the equation. Uh, I don't know either. It, it, yeah. And I, I told you, I'm lost. It, yeah, and, they're, and they're, they're, they're switching back and forth between the two characters. Right. But in a way that is losing me. Like, I don't know if there's a story that's being told by the switches. Right. And I'm not picking up on it. Well, I do appreciate that they actively showcase when the switch occurs. Yes. So that there is a different visual with each person that is in control, which yes. is good. Yeah. Um, yeah, because that because yeah, I, I, where there was like the the bruise or something. Right. Yeah. Like that's that's cool for me. Like I yeah. appreciate that. Um, but then when you've got Marla's story, or, uh, uh, yeah. Then, uh, the visual. Yeah, I know who that is uh, that, that showed up. But then why? Like, cause yeah, because that shouldn't be. Right, yeah. For like, what, 15 years at this story point. So, yeah. How? Yeah. I don't know. I swear, like, maybe this is the part of the movie where everything's like, ooh, and then it all makes sense when we come out. Yeah. 
But right now, I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, and coming out of the end of this particular issue, right? Like, where do you go, where do you go from there? Like, I mean, because that's a that's a very heavy threat. Yeah. That was leveled. Yeah. And it looks as though it is being accomplished. Yeah. But then if that's accomplished, then what happens? What, yeah. I have to admit, though, that it, that is probably the most personalized version of vandalism I've ever seen. Yes. That, um, Chuck, I need to know what your psychiatrist notes look like. Because I am fairly certain that when you sit on that couch and you get to open up your mouth, you only keep like a psychiatrist for like a few weeks at a time. Yeah. Like, cause they're like, no sir, this isn't normal. I've gone through three. I'm betting you've topped that. Oh, three today. Like that <laughs> dude, like, sit, like he leaves one and goes to the other. Like, let me tell you what this guy said. Yeah. Like that's, cause the things, like who thinks of that? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean it's totally plausible, but like, yeah. Well, as soon as I read, it, I'm like, oh, that's actually kind of brilliant. right. But then at the same time, you're like, I shouldn't say that out loud. Yeah, I'm now on a watch list. Right, like I, I have kids, I shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, I don't know, but overall, I mean, it's good, but but I don't understand it. it, it. Yeah, it's like reading Simulacra Simulation. Like it's good. It's supposed to be like, oh, look, what is reality? Yeah. I have no idea how to read it though. Yeah. I've tried many times. I have the book. I've had it since the Matrix came out. Yeah, still can't read it. I don't, I don't get it. Yeah. I never get further than two chapters. Yeah. And I'm like, I stop. Keeps me humble. That's yeah. what I say. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not the man because I can't read that. Yeah. So what's on your honorable mention list? Uh, I continued with The Darkness from Wolf. Oh. Hellboy. Yes. Uh, Hellboy is still in hell. Okay. But I'm okay with that. Okay. Uh, it's chock full of all of the, the way that Hellboy talks that everybody loves. Oh. Um, you you start, to out, start to find out a little bit more about the sequence of events of people that were against him that led to this point of okay. him being in hell. Okay. Uh, he meets his sister, ha- half sister. He'll, 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 she'll correct you. Oh. oh. Um, <laughs> but yeah, there's like a giant undead cat that they end up fighting. So, for that me, seems redundant to me. Undead cat, redundant. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, cats are evil. I've yeah. said this since I was a child. It was Lady and the Tramp. That's what. Yeah, the We Are Siamese cats. I hated those oh, things. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, see, see, that's, that's like the 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 children's equivalent of the twins from The Shining. Yes, those things are yes, freaky. it is. Just and it's and it, it, the Asian sound for no good reason. Yeah, like yeah, uh, not not okay, uh, yes. not okay. Yeah. So for mine, I took on Power Up from Boombox. Um, I'm starting off in the middle of the story. I've not read this. Yeah, that's what issue three. Issue three. Issue three. Issue three. Um, the artwork I thought was very interesting. I was like, let me give it a try. You know, yeah. it's got this very cool cartoon. It's amazing. I have no idea. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. That's the s- best review we've so, ever had. <laughs> no. Like, uh, this bizarroed me. And I mean that. I mean that. Like, there are things where I'm like, I don't, wait, what? It's like, if... Dragon Ball and mm, mm, Uncle Grandpa had a baby uh, okay. that wore a Sailor Moon outfit. Go with it. Go with it. And, um, um. Yes, I'm actually left speechless. Um, <laughs> I don't even know how to respond. I mean, when it ended, I sighed with relief. Like that's how, like I, I, I trudge through it, but I don't, like the sequence of events are so sporadic and non like okay, like this sequence right here, mm-hmm. I've read it three times and I still can't understand what happened. Like there's a, there's a passing down and then there's a, cra- but I don't understand what exactly led to the, I don't, I don't yeah. understand. So storytelling wise, I'm like, I don't know. I can't. I don't know. Yeah. The art's not helping. The story's not helping. Uh, but I mean, it's it's published. It's yeah. published. So I'm not I'm not knocking. I'm just saying I don't get it. Just meh. I don't get it. It's like Fight Club for kids. Oh, actually, yes. There we go. Yeah, there was a dude in a dress. It kind of goes there. So um, there's that. And um, mm-hmm. Do you guys got anything going on this weekend? Not this week. Oh, no. We, we're doing a Magic pre-release this weekend, but nothing comic big. I mean, that's cool. It is. You know, shout out to the Magic guys. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hi, players. How are you guys doing? Um, 
I'll be at Wizard World Nashville. Yes. I'm going to the Music City, y'all. Oh, oh, oh. Come check me out. Table B12. Yeah. Isn't that a vitamin? B12 I, a vitamin? Yeah, it's like an energy one, I think. It sounds What's the, the convention center you guys are in? Uh, the Music City Center, I think is what it's called. That one is, if you guys haven't seen it, it's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Oh, God, it's so gorgeous. Yeah. 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 I was there two years ago, and I, I can't wait to get back. Yeah. I'm kind of excited. So, yeah, come see me. Yep. Come do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, uh, do it. Do it. Oh, uh, do it. Do hey, it. guys. Did you love today's episode? We know you did. And you should be subscribing right here. Subscribe. Subscribe to our YouTube. Do it. Do it now. Yeah. Yeah. I'll find you. Mm-hmm.